Asbestos removal is creating concern among some people living near the old Harriet Tubman homes. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Calvin Sneed. The site is in the middle of demolition right now, and some neighbors went to city council about the air quality. News Channel 9's Brianna Arredondo joins us now live from the site with details. Brianna? Well, neighbors got a copy of this letter from the district city council representative and Moses Freeman is now asking for information after hearing concerns from residents and that will all be presented in a meeting tomorrow. But today we heard from city workers about the progress. Crews are moving in and out of the remaining houses at the old Harriet Tubman site. They're getting ready to take out materials that tested positive for asbestos. Air pollution investigator John Schultz keeps an eye on it all. I also do drive-bys. I'm by here three or four times a day, and I look to see if there's any visible emissions, in other words, dust clouds, and they use water to control the dust. That dust in the air could come from materials that have asbestos, a concern for some neighbors nearby, including Patrick Kellogg. We found out that asbestos causes lung cancer, mes mesothelioma, as well as uh, mental retardation in kids. So uh, those effects sometimes aren't seen until 10, 20, 30 years down the road. But so far, investigators monitoring the process haven't found any violations. I'm looking out for them. That's why I'm by here as much as I am. Um, I don't see any issues at this point. And once these buildings come down, it will look like the other half of the lot. Once they get it down to the gr ground level, they will haul off the concrete that was on the second floor that has the mastic. It will be placed into a container and then it will be hauled off as environmental waste. At the end of the day, what we're wanting to do is to have an independent verification if the site contains asbestos dust coming into the community. That's why air pollution investigators and city engineers say contractors must use water throughout the teardown to make sure the dust is contained. And if you do see a dust cloud in this area, pollution investigators say to give the Air Control Bureau a call. The city council will meet tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock to hear from contractors about the whole removal process. And anyone concerned about the asbestos is invited to attend. We're live in Chattanooga. Brianna Arredondo, News Channel 9.